Welcome back. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, just kind of been making coffee and roasting and making more coffee and then making no coffee because it was too cold to roast. Therefore, I couldn't drink anything because I didn't have any beans. Anyway, it's been nice the past couple of days. So I roasted some more coffee. I'm actually running out, so I'm probably going to have to get back out there. But luckily, we have good weather this week, so maybe I will. Anyway, there's been a few little changes to the setup. Um, the first and most obvious being a bottomless portafilter. This isn't by Lelit, this is just a, you know, unbranded, well actually I got this one from Seattle Coffee Gear, um, but it's just a, a, you know, unbranded 58 mil, um, bottomless, has a maple handle, which is really nice. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, no, I don't think I made a video since I got these. We also have a 20 gram IMS precision basket, as well as the IMS shower screen down below, as well as a, I think it's like a, it's not rubber, it's like a urethane gasket. You can see the color difference. So that makes it a lot easier to lock my portafilter in, just like that. It just goes right in without, sometimes, you know, you really have to wrench it down. Anyway, those have been the mods that we've done so far. No temperature gauge here yet like I wanted. I haven't really felt the need, I guess, just trying to enjoy it analog. But, oops. Um, okay, yeah, so we're just going to make a, uh, a latte, and uh, I want to take you guys along for the ride. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Same kind of process as before. We turn the scale on over here. This is our drip scale. This is the espresso scale. I made a video about this one, too. Uh, we're more or less dialed in. We've uh, had good success with this bean so far. This is a, a medium roast Guatemala. So there we go. It's about nine seconds of grinding. 19.7. We'll try to go for 20, so we'll just get up another little drop of coffee. Yeah, that'll do. 20.1. I'll probably lose some when I tamp as well, because sometimes the friction gets stuck to the to the tamper, because the tamper is like 58.5 mil. Anyway. Tamper, see how it sometimes gets stuck to the side, you'll see. Typical tamp, nothing special. Just using my fingers to kind of guide it and make sure that it is level. You know, just some polishing, and then, see, sometimes the friction of the tamper, because it's so tight, gets stuck. I know you're not supposed to double tamp, but sometimes some little bits don't actually get tamped down. Anyway, one other thing that I usually do is just run some water. As you can hear, it gets quite hot, um, so I just like to cool it down, cooling flush, I guess you'll call it. Um, with the bottomless portafilter, it also gives you a lot more clearance, which is nice. Not that I had clearance issues with my mugs before, but sometimes with my dad's mug, I did have some issues. Um, Pre-infusion, tear the scale, and start the timer over here. get to see that beautiful extraction. It's not perfect, and frankly I should probably go a little coarser, but, you know, it looks good. It's a little bit aggressive though, um, I think it could be a little bit more controlled. I cut it off a little early, should probably let it go a couple more seconds, but yeah, so I think, you know, day in and day out, things change, you know, the beans change a little bit, but they're quite fresh, so we've got some nice tiger striping. Looks good. Anyway, let's purge some liquid out of the wand, get some milk set up. No special milk these days, just whole milk, whatever you like. You can unpause it, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, so nothing special. Just whole milk. Usually there's a line on the inside of this pitcher. Kind of fill it up to there. We can kind of see where it fills up to. Um, of course, with this being a heat exchanger, I can brew and steam at the same time. I just enjoy the process of staring at the coffee when it comes out. So, of course, you know, sometimes I don't do it all at once, but I can do. And I have done it a couple times. So we'll steam it up like usual.
sometimes it's a little bit aggressive. Plunge it. Try to get a nice whirlpool going. Can't really see. I would have to change my position. But I kind of have it tilted a little bit to one side. And that's how I get the whirlpool to come up really nice. Too hot to touch. And there we go, we have a nice kind of thinner microphone. Admittedly, I haven't been making many lattes recently. It's just kind of been espresso only for me when I do make coffee. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little out of practice when it comes to milk, but that looks pretty good. It sticks to the sides. It's a little thin, but we'll try our best at something today. I was actually watching a video about dead shots the other day and when flavor falls off. Frankly, I, I don't believe in dead shots, but the color changes and it makes you nervous. But regardless, we're going to go for it. So, uh, let's do this. Kind of messed up the base there, but. Oops, maybe I can get one more. It's not perfect. Probably should have just followed through with that first part of the heart, but there you go. Just kind of mediocre latte art. Then again, like I said, I mean, I haven't really been making much in the way of lattes recently, so there you go. That's not bad. Cleanup is the same. I just knock it out. Oh, I got a different knock box. I don't know if I showed you guys that one. Uh, it's basically the knock box from the um, Mignon line. So basically it's, it goes underneath. So instead of wasting space on the counter, it's all in one place, which I really like because where I'm going to be living soon enough, it won't really be very spacious. So yeah, looking forward to having that over there. But I'll taste the cup to tell you how it tastes. It's going to taste like a latte. smooth and it's sweet that bean is extremely sweet it has a lighter body um yeah guatemalas tend to be kind of lighter or well depending on the roast but medium they're pretty light sweet kind of chocolatey so yeah with, with regular whole milk it's extra sweet of course but mm. yeah that's really good anyway i know that was unscripted um but i just wanted to put a video out because uh I don't know if anybody else follows this or if it's just me, but we passed 200 subs, um, which isn't a big deal for a lot of, you know, other YouTubers, but I think, and I, I mean, even maybe for me, because I don't post consistently, but I think it's impressive to see that people are following my content as I make it as sporadically as I do. So um, thank you to the 200 plus people who have subbed. Um, I really enjoy going through the comments and talking with you guys about coffee stuff or answering questions or debating stuff, you know, if anybody brings up a counter argument, which I always enjoy. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably try to make more stuff like this, you know, as, as time continues and as we change stuff or get better at it. But yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. There we go. Cool. Done. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, maybe not. It's a picture. Oh, it's a picture.